just like pretty much well everyone i've been working from home for quite a while well what's different is that i've actually been working from home for about 10 years now or even longer actually like i've mainly been working online because i run a remote company i'm a ceo of a remote company which means we all work from home i'm the only one located in the netherlands i mean i brought a t i built a team of over 35 people and still everyone was working remote and i learned over time to make sure i can be productive and efficient and, and focused and i figured to record a video today for all of you to share my work from home setup and share some lessons I learned along the way because if you work from home it's so easy to get personal life and work distracted so one of my first rules I had to implement is like have a dedicated work place so that's actually what you're currently looking at right now this I'm currently in my home office this is the main place I'm gonna show you three different environments but this is the main location where I usually work at and I'm only here if I work right so that way I get I keep myself sane when I uh, when I close when I close that door in the evening I know I'm done I'm finished and then the next day I walk in and like this is where I work again right so this is actually a desk that you can just move up and down so that that way I can keep the energy up uh, I can just you know turn it up and I can, I'll be able to stand if I put it down I can sit and as you can see this is probably my most important one if I ever create a new office like the main thing I always need is two screens like I just cannot live without two screens like if you ever like if you're not just on two screens give it a try like even when i go and travel i'll make sure to add like to to get a second screen because it just increases my productivity by miles right also i made sure that the desk is actually round i wanted to have it around so that even though i'm sitting right here i'm working right usually i'll have my ipad right here as you can see right here and i could just make notes right here like i don't have to go somewhere else i have the space and i have the empty space here uh, there's a couple of books that i like to read but i can just sit here put my ipad over here or do some reading or whatever so it's all like i want to have uh space here and obviously other than that there is still some some messy stuff in the background like i don't want to go into that that's like books and stuff like but I, as long as i don't look at it like i want whatever i look at to be sort of clean and again like sometimes there's crap here on <laughs> stuff on the table i got a good microphone here um to use and always uh, a water bottle to keep myself hydrated and also like I like to just have the view so actually you know I have a pretty good view which actually brings me to my second working spot let me show you right now and I'll go outside so this right here is actually my second working space um, so I like to just sit outside and take meetings here so I'll do that on my iPad um, has a pretty good camera Ooh. Like I can just put it up like that it has a pretty decent camera and this way I can just sit outside and just you know it, it just gives a totally different atmosphere and totally different um, uh, vibe to my day especially in the morning I like to do that and obviously like I live in the Netherlands so I can't do that all year round I need to enjoy the summertime which we're currently at uh, that right there by the way is my beautiful daughter on my iPad uh, as a side note but yeah this is just like it's a great place to just uh, chill out and you know we got a good couch here um, a good table and that way I can just you know look outside and just you know that's purely for meetings or brainstorming time so got my main office uh, and secondly my um, you know outside place here and from what I've like that's one thing I learned as well like as much as you try to optimize what the perfect workplace in your home or in your wherever that is I need different environments to be able to think properly. Like if I'm, all, if I'm always in this exact same environment, my thoughts and beliefs and, and thoughts and thinking will all, always be limited to that. And sometimes you need to physically go somewhere else, right? That's actually why once a week I spend quite a bit of time in like a co-working space or in a or in a coffee bar or somewhere else in a different environment outside my home to just be you know get different kind of ideas different kind of flows going around in your brain uh, which i wouldn't just get if you're in the same physical location right and that's uh, also one of the reasons why i want to sit here uh, outside as well so i had my main office which was right behind that wall and then uh, right here is for my outside meetings and that brings me to the third part which is where i record mainly my videos and that place is actually a bit of a mess not a bit it's a big mess so don't judge me for it but let me show you that as well all right we are in the studio and as you can see this is a mess a complete mess but that's all right uh, because it does the job and again it doesn't have to be fancy one thing i'll need to fix is that normally this backdrop is all the way down 
So I recently installed this gray paper because with the gray paper, I can just add a colored light to it. For example, I put a green light to the backdrop and it will turn green. So I got these lights actually just you know from literally from AliExpress. Again, they don't have to be fancy. And the reason why I build this studio like this and the reason why I have it like this is because literally I can come in, right? I would hit one button to power everything on. Boom, now the lights will go on and I can start filming. Right here, I got my main camera, which is a, Pen uh, sorry, a Lumix GH5. The reason why I got this one is because it has continuous recording, like for some cameras here in Europe, at least, they're limited to 20 minutes of recording, which is kind of crazy. This one I can continuously record. I can stream it live, so I can do like, you know, three, four hour live streamings. And I got this thing right here, so I can actually put my iPad in this mirror, so I can actually read from RDQ, right? So literally, because of this, what I do when I wanna record a video, I press that power button, right? Lights go on. I can press the record button on the camera. I can start recording and boom, I can stand here and actually start recording videos, right? And that's really the, my main key. I wanna make it as easy as possible because otherwise it just becomes this, this thing that will, you know, will, it, it's not gonna happen, like it needs to be easy. And then while doing that, I got a couple of the things here to make it easier. Uh, one is a TV, so I can just roll that over, it's on wheels. So if I wanna do a presentation style, for example, and secondly, the whiteboard again has wheels as well, so I can just roll it over and have, put that into the screen. So that way I can actually, um, record videos easily. Now, one challenge I did have is that in this room, I had the same one actually in the main office, as you probably listened or heard or noticed, is that the, if you haven't scrolled back to earlier in this video, the audio in my main, like my main office is not as good. And I had the same issue here. So now I just got from the do-it-yourself shop, all these kind of like, I don't know what you know what it's called, but I, all these covers to just absorb audio, to absorb the sound waves, to make sure that um, there's less echo. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show to all. Uh, real quick, just like this is my home office. So that's really how I'm staying productive. Clean office, make sure that you can shut the door and you're done if you have the space, obviously. Uh, ideally a second place, which is for me at least more, more inspirational, more like, you know, that's my outside play, uh, space. And number three, I wanna, for those who wanna record videos, like I record videos here in my studio, I'm obviously blessed to have a space separate where I can do those videos. In the past, I had to do it in my living room and every single time I had to just like set up the camera, set up the lighting and do, and then break it all apart and then set it up again, uh, argue with my wife, I wanted to keep it on, for, keep it available for the week or so, uh, which obviously is okay, but it takes more time. So if you have space to, to set it up, you can just hit the record button, makes a big difference. Uh, and then number four, which I cannot show you right now, every week I like to go somewhere else in like a coffee shop or anything like that, where I'm just offline, offline mode, just thinking time to really get the best ideas flowing. Hope it helps to you all and I'll see you all soon.